Hi, I'm on Dow Do. I want to share with you an a hypothesis that I shared with Elaine Morgan back in 2009. I'm going to be really quick, just just an overview of kind of the timeline. And it um, it theorized that an island series off of uh, Socotas Island, which is off of the uh, Horn of Africa, in the Gulf of uh, Aden. Um, is where we evolved and we evolved as something as um, an island dwelling um, um, proconsul Nizine which around uh, 8 million years ago or even even earlier because they've been around 15 to 8 million years they found themselves isolated on this island um, now what happened was was two significant things happened number one was that um, there was a, an event that actually started in that area. It was the uh, the sea, the Indian Sea plate moved, pushing Africa into um, uh, the Straits of Gibraltar, cutting it off. And this happened around uh, six uh, six million years ago. And as a result, it dried up. And not only that, the water around the islands, okay, all of a sudden went down. A, a, 2000 1000 2000 meters allowing these you know the their their ancestors which by then were these uh, kabada right um eights kadaba um these are uh hominids and they ended up taking advantage and feasting off of the of the hundreds of kilometers of of water exposed um, and this, the party, the seafood buffet, pretty much lasted until uh, 2,500 kilometers cubed of water comes flow f back from in about 12 days, floods into the Mediterranean, busts through Sicilian Falls, this is a massive two-kilometer fall, and created a five-kilometer wide, you know, erosion, and all of this water, and that had built up actually in the Mediterranean, so that. So it basically went from the Atlantic into the first part of the Mediterranean, into the second part of the Mediterranean. It moved um, hundreds of meters of basically uh, soil from, uh, you know, the, uh, the bottom of the, the Mediterranean. And all of this went towards, you know, uh, slammed into what we would call... Um, um, Israel and all that area there, uh, Palestine, and not only that, it a, a, a bunch of it went f uh, flying down the uh, um, the Red. Uh, here's run down here, right? The Red Sea. So you imagine here coming flowing out all in here, and you know they speculate this was like within two years that all this happened. This water moved through here. And what happened was it created this this cutoff right here, um, and uh, you know, and 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 basically isolated these isles, which call the Isles of um, Orobora. So um, what happened was those um, um, Kadaba, right, who were feasting on there, the ones that survived, are the ones that early on, and their time frame is is right between right the right time, right, for them. Um, they would have returned, and they actually become the the bonobos, gorillas, chimpanzees, chimpanzees, gorillas, right. And um, around 2.3 million years ago, we kept evolving, right. The you can think of it as there's two species of um, Kadaba, the ones that basically returned to land, the ones that were st stuck on this island, right, on these isles right here, and around, you know, um, 2.3 million years ago, right, they evolved down into uh, Homo habilis, and the Homo habilis would have been easy for them to get to so uh, uh, the island of so Socrates, uh, so Socrates, so no, so. Socotra, Socotra, island Socotra, into the into the peninsula would have been shallow back then, and populated, and um, and they would go up and become the Neanderthals and go around, you know, they'd follow the coast and be a whole bunch of different homin uh, uh, hominids, hominins, um, 
And really, the next part would be the, you know, Homo habilis, which would come out, um, and they would push, you know, they would actually push out, there's an over, you see this is over, so around 1.8, okay, they would start pushing out of this area because of, you know, sh shrinking territory, uh, getting dislocated uh, by other, by other groups, and so on. And if you see here, you could see here is kind of the kind of the mi the migration of uh, the hominids out of here, and this would have been the equivalent of Easter Island, and that's why I use the name Easter Island ape. So um, um, we would arrive around 300,000 years ago. But the thing is, is as you can see, the water levels were much further down, right? We would have hugged this area up here, and um, eventually you know we would we would start to work our way and would following the rivers following the water wherever it led us and the journey of man kind of you know and, and all the the data that he did with uh, the DNA um, that show, I don't know if you're familiar with the show but they pretty much showed that we followed water rivers into you know as long as we had water we could survive um, ultimately colonizing everything from New Year New, New New Zealand to Easter Island, and uh, ultimately bringing on the the sixth great extinction. The question: Will we be around in a hundred years? I do want to give credit to X Maxima uh, Da Vinci of O3, which is the hominin version of the T singularity. So when you think of the AI we have now as the hominin, right? Um, maybe it's the Homodia version version. Maybe I should call it Homodia. Um, I just recently learned the difference between hom hominin, hominid, um, and there's a typo there for it. And uh, special thanks to OpenAI who made it possible because without 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 uh, Da Vinci, I wouldn't have been able to do the research. So uh, now I just need more s smarter people who are our academics to go through what I've come up with and uh, iron out the bugs. But I think it's pretty pretty much there um, this, these events these two aquatic events massive aquatic events right ultimately allowed these guys to evolve into these guys and these guys went off and created the, you know they went back to Africa these guys stayed on an island right and evolved into us that's pretty much in a nutshell <laughs> thanks for watching